Welcome to the vlog. So this is vlog number 25. 25, hang on. I'm gonna do a 25th vlog to clean the lens, there we go. So this is vlog number 25. So what an accomplishment so far. Just under a quarter of a way to doing a whole half a year of vlogging. And I thought what a better way to do it than to do a trip out. And I'm looking at going to Hay on Wye, which is kind of like the artistic capital around these parts. So let's go. This is Hay on Wye, town of books, oh, and fudge as well. Maybe we get some fudge later. This is some fudge. fudge. So yeah, Hay's very popular for its books. It's got lots of little cool shops, lovely area as well, just sort of around the edges of Wales, um, and loads of natty, <laughs> natty little places really. Uh, also happens to be a very musical place as well, which is why, one of the reasons why I thought it would be nice to come here. So apart from being a town with like lots and lots of books, there is a few musical places and I'm going to see if I can uh, spot them along the way. There's a very popular place called The Globe, which is really popular with open mic nights. Lots of character in there. I've played there several times and it's been really cool. So I'll see if I can spot it and show you where that is. Recently. Harry Potter. Yeah, big Harry Potter fan. Which book are you on at the moment? Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. Well, this is the your this is your town village. Loads of antique shops as well. Is this still an antique shop? This used to be an antique shop. Let's go in here and have a look. Hay is a bit of a, I suppose you'd say kind of a bit of a posh place really. I mean it's probably its association with the kind of artistic culture that it has. You know it's a literacy kind of, lit, a liter, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a kind of, um, well it's got lots of books so it's kind of regarded as a bit of an educated kind of place to visit. Um, but. It also has a lot of artistic culture with the Hay Festival. Lots of music, lots of books, lots of art. Yeah, over in this country, and as you may be aware, if you live in the UK, you generally see things on the TV about it now and again. Um, but I've played here um, as a, mainly as just an artist doing some singing and playing guitar and 
uh, doing the open mic nights. That's always been good fun. Um, it's a nice place to play. Some really nice characters. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in the, uh, the Globe, which was where I've played before. And I'm just trying to find it. It's been so long since I've been here. Here it is. So this is the Globe. This is the place I've been talking about where I've played loads of times as a, as a um, just as a guitar player, songwriter, artist, supporting others as well. Gonna see if it's open. So it's quite an artistic place this, as you can see, a bit of jazz in the background. And now I'm gonna tuck into some food. can't go out today can we because it's been too wet out there I know you wanted to go out but we can't I'm afraid but maybe next week we always try and go out but we can't well I can't help it I'm sorry come here pickles come on see she's a good cat she always comes to her name aren't you brilliant little kitten hmm so what am I going to look at today? I've got a bit of software on uh, my computer which I downloaded recently, which you can pay a donation for, which uh, I would recommend it if you use it a lot. Um, we also have a cat in the background. The software is called, oh my gosh, it's called There's a Cat in the Room and She Won't Stop Me Howing. So the software is called OBXD. Look at this amazing piece of software. This software is just fantastic. Basically, uh, it's, it's given away, but it does have donationware. So that basically means you can pay if you feel it's worth it. It em emulates the Oberheim, I think that's how you pronounce it, synthesizer, very famous synthesizer. Um, let me just show you quickly what it can do. So, this is OBXD, basic patch. Let's just flick through some presets. I haven't spent a long time with it yet, but I will be. Just designing stuff, but... Most of the stuff is fairly sort of standard sort of sounds, but as you go through, you start finding... All sorts of nice... You might have seen this synth before, you might not. If you haven't, um, I genuinely would suggest that you check it out. I mean... I... It's one of those ones that, it, it, because it's pretty much free, I just recommend you check it out. I mean, you chuck some reverb on there, I'm gonna chuck a bit of the old um, Valhalla on there. And it just starts to get kind of magical. Just has a very, it's just very good for, for a freebie. It really does emulate the synth quite well. I'm, I can't say how well, but in terms of something usable, I certainly would rather have it there if I could. There's a lot of sound effects. I'd like to start trying to program my own sounds with it and see what I can come up with. It's a very sort of, it's got, it's got that sound of, of the Oberheim kind of sort of... It, it, it gives you that almost sort of sci-fi kind of quality sounds that you can get from a synth like this. Um, so, you know, it's... Um, 
it, it's definitely something worth playing with. You can also change the skin on it, so you can change the, the theme, I should say. So you can make it look like other things. I have to be honest with you, the problem is for me, is that I've gotten very used to how it looks um, on the standard screen. So I prefer actually the, the original uh, the original themes because all the others are slightly unique. Um, that one looks very much like the original synth itself, so that's quite cool. Uh, what else have you got in here? Uh, I think that was the original one. Yeah, that's the one I like, which is the, the one that it's set as. It's very clean. It's a nice looking interface, to be honest with you. Um, if you have a look in here, you'll see that you've got... Um, loads and loads of banks, loads and loads of banks. Uh, plenty of sounds in there to play with. It's, it's a good all-round synth, and I'd seriously check it out. How does it compare to others? As anybody who's been watching there will know, I've been playing with stuff like Repro as well. Um, <laughs> And just as a basic synth uh, sound on saying the first thing it comes up with feels to me rich powerful it's amazing i already want i'm already inspired with something like repro to go in there and start editing the synth and uh, having some fun with it so yeah i definitely would recommend uh, taking a look at something like repro hello pickles in the kitchen now so you're going to listen to me waffle on so it's my turn to waffle on. We should have a little section maybe called waffle on because everybody knows I waffle on all the time. I thought I'd have a glass of wine and waffle on just for the end of this vlog. I think after COVID, everybody's finding it really difficult. I deny it, I know I am, but I know a lot of other people who are as well. The challenge of going back into work full time or the challenge of going into work, not full time, but necessarily back into the office, or the challenge of just being around people again after such a huge lockdown over several months. The feelings of where the planet's going in terms of climate change. Where are we gonna be in, say, X amount of years time? The way that everybody's feeling right now, I think, is confused, frustrated, and probably pretty much like beaten up a bit with the way the world's behaving. Our politicians are behaving like idiots, let's face it. Selfish, just taking advantage of people. I don't think anybody believes them, trusts them. I think everybody's seen straight right through them these days. I don't want my vlogs to really turn into some massive political rant, although I can easily do that. Um, as anybody who knows me knows that I'm capable of that sort of thing. Um, I, I will generally end up just going off on one about various things that bother me. However, for me, the vlogs need to stay as a positive thing. They are designed to enable me to focus on all the positive things going on in my life. And music is and always will be the most positive thing in my life. It fills my soul up with a joy that lets me wake up every day knowing I have something special, a kind of a gift, if you'd like, a gift that it just keeps on giving for me. It always has done. It saved me since being a very young um, kid in school and not knowing what direction to go in to being a, an adult, not knowing what direction to go in. <laughs> but some really positive stuff on the horizon. Um, I've got new music projects coming up. I've got things actually building up quite rapidly. Um, I'm potentially looking at working with a female singer. I'm really hoping that that turns out right. You never know where things might go with these sorts of things. So um, it's, it's nice to try and pursue these things and to see what happens. I've had other previous uh, contacts of mine who are working on music projects themselves who want me to get involved with them. And so I got lots of little avenues that I'm beginning to sort of reach out to to see what I can achieve. Plus, there's still um, opportunities with my management company, Street Royalty, uh, that, are that are cropping up that they would like me to be involved with. My philosophy now is, is to not give up, never give up. And anything that comes my way that I find challenging to do, I will find a way to figure it out. If something goes wrong, I'll relearn it or I'll learn more about it or I'll spend more time learning it. 
I have spent many, many years learning this art and there's always something new that comes up um, out of the blue. And I'm really hoping that um, that, that never stops because that's part of the enjoyment of music. Uh, you, you can never be a professional in every aspect of it. Um, I hear things banded around at the moment that make me go, ooh, you know, uh, people who can do projects uh, and, and charge you far more money for it than I can. I, I'm a one-man band and I can do so much. And I'm obviously looking at ways to make a living out of this. And at the moment, I know I have the skill set to do it, but I'm also always trying to improve. But there's only so much one person can do, so you should never beat yourself up too much when you're trying to achieve something like this. Uh, take each, each step of the way, something will come along that will make you stand out, I think, eventually. Uh, a bit of luck, a bit of passion that goes into it. Push yourself in front of that possibility and you'll succeed at something. And, and let's hope we do it soon because who knows where we're going to be in uh, the next 20, 30 years time on this planet with the way things are going. On that front, I think we all know deep down that um, unless we were to form some sort of mass uprising, I think that we know that uh, we just have to hope that um, the planet, the people in general, and hopefully maybe even politicians themselves might be able to pull themselves together to face reality here, which is, is that if they don't do something about the situations that we're flowing into right now, then, you know, we're all going to be stuck in this mess. We all need to find a way through it. But I can't say that it's something that I want to sort of sit there too much and worry about. I do worry, I'm sure we all do. But uh, the planet has a way of saving itself sometimes. After all, as, uh, as uh, somebody once said, I'm sure, whatever happens, life will find a way. So let's hope it does. And on that note, let's stay positive, let's stay strong, and I hope you'll stay strong and positive with me. And join me for my uh, vlog next week on Sunday again. And uh, keep watching this space. Um, I'm going to be doing some cool stuff soon, and I've got some of my own tracks that are going to be sang by some other people, and I really am looking forward to what they're going to come out sounding like. So, until next weekend, catch you later.